Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737, and today I'm doing January 18th, 2021 reading from the Bible. Uh, I'm getting this from the Catholic Bishops uh, website, United States uh, Conference. <laughs> um, this is Monday of the second week in the ordinary time, and I'll do the first reading. Uh, I'm going to do two readings. Reading one, Hebrews 5, 1 through 10. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal uh, patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so for this reason must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself but only one called by God, just as Aaron was, in the same way. It was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to be him. You are my son. This day I have begotten you, just as he says in another place. You are priest forever, according to the order of Mechazildiak. I might have said that wrong. In this day, when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and suck, suck, supplications, <laughs> I just fumbled that, with loud cries and tears, to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. And next we're going to do the, the, the final reading. Oh, wait. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Gospel Mark 2, 18 through 22. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them. Can the wedding guest fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will fast on that day. No one sues a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away. The new and the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wine skins. What they're trying, what what is being, <laughs> I'm jumbling this. What Jesus is trying to say is, um, you must be completely ready to um, practice the new ways. You it it's. You should not be mixing the two together. And he's also saying that um, they're in celebration because Christ is there and there's no need for fasting. Um, there's not much to say to this other than um, it. the trials that we go through, they may be hard, but they're worth it in the service of Jesus for the things he calls us to do, which is to do good for all and to serve him, which part of that is helping other people. Anyway, I hope you guys like this and I wish you all good luck. And I, I promise I will get to the comments. It's just, like I said, I've been having a really hard time because some things that have happened Anyway, I love you all, and I love all the support you guys have given me, and I wish you good luck in everything going on.